Is it possible for DC's embarrassment of visual art riches to become even richer? I'm Peter Winant, and my best bet is the new Rubel Museum in burgeoning Southwest DC. Don and Mira Rubel have transformed the former Randall Junior High School into a museum of contemporary art. And now it's a different kind of place to learn. The museum's opening exhibit offers a social critique call and response between Randall School alumnus Marvin Gaye's yearning 1971 album, What's Going On, and Keith Haring's 20 empathetic and intuitive drawings of the world's condition, which Haring dedicated to Don Rubel's deceased brother. But that's just the start of things. 50 years later, war, racism, eco-degradation, and cultural divides remain, and those themes resonate here in ways only artists can make happen. Leonardo Drew is a black artist whose wall of cotton bales was constructed with his own hands. His work is mirrored by Glenn Lagon's monochromatic black painting that probes at construction and deconstruction of black and gay identity. It's different than Drew, but taken together, their points hit home even harder. In another room, Matthew Day Jackson's covered wagon addresses the struggle and brutality of white westward expansion. The Rubels have consistently supported DC area artists, including Sylvia Snowden, whose works occupy a room of their own. Her almost sculptural, vibrantly colored and expressionist paintings pay loving tribute to her daughter, Shell. There is a lot more to consider in the art at the Rubel Museum. Monumentality and intimacy, humor and pain, cause for head scratching, and I think optimism. But you have to see it for yourself. The Rubel Museum is open Wednesday through Sunday, and DC residents can check out what's going on for free. For Around Town Best Bets, I'm Peter Winant. Thanks for joining us. For more Around Town Best Bets, visit us online at weta.org slash bestbets.